Welcome to the U.S. Criminals Channel. In this video, we explore five cases where shoplifters realize they've been caught. Get ready for some suspenseful moments and dramatic reactions. If you like this content, make sure to like, share, and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any more thrilling crime stories. If you like this video, press 1. On 2022, a shoplifter in Seattle tries to escape from the police. After a frantic chase, the suspect is eventually halted by a car and falls onto the road. Officers quickly swarm in to restrain him and put him in handcuffs. Raw dash cam video shows a shoplifter attempting to flee from Seattle police. The officer searched the young man to ensure he wasn't armed. They confiscated his backpack and shoes, then placed him in a police car and took him to the station. Upon searching his backpack, they found stolen items, including two bottles of wine. Interestingly, the suspect asked the officers not to put his clothes in his backpack like that. After an intense pursuit, the young man admitted he didn't run from the police. You want to take the other one? Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> We're just going to get that off so your wrist don't hurt or anything like that. You all get close. Gage and double lock. Yep. Let me uh, bring the security here and make sure that this... She's right there. She already told me it was him. This guy ran me? I want to make sure. I'll get your information in a few minutes. Alright. Turn around, roll over. Get up. Hey, bring your, bring your legs in. Roll over on your knees. No, not that way, hey. Stand up. Uh, 
the sweater. I'm gonna put this on the uh, outside. Step off right there. Yeah, I got the back. I'll go ahead and go and step back from the information. Yeah. Oh, there's no room in the microphone, okay? Throw it the far side, so. Hey, excuse me? Officer? Officer? Can you please not put all my clothing in my... Can you please not put all the clothing in my backpack? Because... It's all going to come out in a few minutes anyway, okay? What? It's all going to come out. I know, but I don't want it to go to the fucking evidence thing. Sir, officer? Yes, sir. Can you please, I don't want, because I know when you put the backpack in the thing, I need my clothing and things and my wallet, everything to be put on my person when I'm booked. 656. Sorry, what's up, Christian? I don't want my, my, my hat and my clothing to be in my backpack. You don't want your because because they, they'll put it in there and I have to retrieve it in like six days and I don't know if I'll make that. Can okay, well we can start that out at the precinct, okay? Can you please make sure my wallet at least is with me? Yeah, and your baseball cap. What please. Else? Yeah, we can do that at the precinct. In the end, he faced accusations of stealing and resisting arrest. On 2023, a woman is restrained by the police but tries to resist and escape. Despite her attempts, she is soon apprehended and forced to the ground to be handcuffed. She adamantly refuses to cooperate, accusing the police of unlawfully arresting her and attempting to harm her. Get over here. Get over here. Okay, I'm over here. Turn around, put your hands on everybody. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you relax, relax. Why are you doing this to me? Because you're walking away from me. You're not okay, listening. Okay, what's the matter? Hurry. Let's walk to the car. You can put your stuff on my hood. Okay, that's fine. Relax. I'm going to hurt your arm. Put your arm, relax. Put your other hand behind your back. Because you're shoplifting. I'm going to hurt you if you don't stop. I don't care if I Over my arm, dude, and it hurts. Okay. Oh, dude, I just said I have to touch over my head. Oh, man. How you done that? No, it's too oh. late for that. I'm a medical danger now. You're going to get it because you're going to jail now. Oh, dude, you're using a buckle on your little phone. Stop. Oh, bro. You don't have to use force like that. Do you understand? You guys set me up as a setup. I told you to relax. You guys are trying to kill me. I don't trust you. Oh. Oh, you're hurting me. I'm putting the handcuffs I on. I can't breathe on their arm. I'm on your back. I can't back. breathe. Yeah, I can't. Hey, Tim, hey, Tim, no. Can I get a second unit? I need to take a medical attention. And also, I need a supervisor. No. Stop! Well, get off then! I'm not getting off till you relax. Oh my god, I am to relax. Get off! Now I can still feel you tensing up. Yeah, because you're on me. Get off. Oh. Just relax. Oh. Stop trying get to fight. Get off me. Oh. Oh, I don't like you than shit. Well, you're not, you're well, not you relaxing. Know, if you got me get out, I wouldn't even be freaking out. That's your own fault. Yeah, you sit on me. Yeah, I'm gonna sit on you until another it's officer gets over here. Are you gonna cooperate? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. Roll to the side. Up. After initially resisting, the woman eventually acquiesced to cooperate with the police.
Throughout, she cried in fear as they placed her in the car and inquired about her identity. Shortly after, a supervisor arrived, photographed the woman, and escorted her to jail. Despite her protests about police-inflicted injuries, they documented them as well. Subsequently, her handcuffs were removed to gather evidence, the stolen items found in her backpack. What's your name? Yvette, what? Yvette. What's your last name? Yvette. Hold on, we're gonna take photos of you first. Face this officer Face for me. Face me real quick. Will you turn to the side? Turn to the other side now. Will you face the car? No, all, all the way, way to your back. Oh, do you have any injuries? Yeah, I do. Where? All my freaking legs. Those are sore. Hold on. Yeah, what is? I go into the freaking Dominican County. I have to put me on. I'm gonna get more infected. Where? Uh, anywhere else aside from that side of your leg? No. I know what. Is there anything on your stomach? No. Any scratches? No. No. Okay. Miss Diva, you're under arrest. Okay. You're going to be going to jail for resisting, obstructing, and for shoplifting. No, you mean resisting or obstructing. Yeah, well, I'm going to charge you. I'm going to charge you, okay? So you're going to... You're going to charge me? Yeah. Okay. Well, I have to take you anyways, okay? So you're just going to get cleared to go to conf for confinement, and then uh, you're going to go straight to jail after that, all right? What do you mean? I just told you what I mean. Stavolos, I'm gonna have you step out, okay? I'm gonna walk you over here to my car. You say your last name is right? And your first name is Diva, D-E-V-A. Do you have an idea out of anywhere else outside of New Mexico? Texas? Anywhere else? Okay. Okay, ma'am, before we can proceed, I need to figure out who you are, okay? You're still not coming back on file. It's not fine because here's the thing. You're diva. Have you had an idea out of New Mexico? Have you had driver's license out of New Mexico? Okay. Before going to prison for stealing from a store and fighting with the police, the woman had to go to the hospital to get her injuries checked, with the police keeping a close watch. On 2021, a loss prevention associate and a police officer confront a suspect who has stolen a monitor. The suspect tries to flee when he sees them coming, but they quickly catch him and prevent his escape. I ain't taking nothing. I'm not taking anything, y'all. I'm not taking nothing. I'm not taking nothing, y'all. I ain't doing nothing. I'm not doing anything, y'all. I'm not doing nothing. I didn't do nothing. Don't try. Don't try. Don't try. Don't okay, okay. Don't let me get up. Let me get, let me get up. Hey, let me get up. Okay, y'all. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Still fighting. Still fighting. Loosen up. I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. You loosen up. If y'all let me up, I can. No, we don't want you to get up. Okay, loosen up. Okay, thank you. Land your stomach or you will get tased. You understand? Okay. Okay. Land your stomach. Lay on your stomach. Lay on your stomach. Okay. Come on. Come okay. on. Lay on your stomach. Okay. Come on. Lay on your stomach, not your side. I'm All on my the way stomach, on your stomach. I'm on my stomach. Give me your other hand. I'm on my stomach. Give me your other hand. You, I can't even move. Roll it. over. Now. Y'all got my don't Roll over that me. way. We don't have that you. Way. Don't get me twisted, bro. We don't have you. Yes, I do. Your arm is Roll free. over. Bro, y'all got me twisted. Your man. left arm is free. Y'all literally got me twisted. I got the. Bro, left arm is free. Yeah, now get on your stomach. I'm trying to get on my stomach, y'all. I'm just trying to get on my stomach, y'all. Yeah. That's it. I'm finna turn over and get on my stomach, y'all. Get on my stomach. Let me have your other hand. You think you're smart. Thank you, smart. Thank you, smart. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing nothing, y'all. Why y'all got me like this? I didn't do anything. I didn't do nothing, y'all. I got it, I got it. Go ahead. I didn't do nothing, y'all. Somebody help yeah, me record this. Hey. Record this, y'all. Record this. I'm not. I didn't do anything to you guys. I didn't do anything. What happened? 
What happened, y'all? Start the radio and start my units. What happened? Door one more. What happened, y'all? Be on the ground with one. What happened, y'all? Literally, what happened, y'all? Well. I haven't done anything, you guys. Listen, you're not going to go away. Do you understand? Yes. You can comply. Are there other officers in route? I'm coming. Do you understand? Just lay on your stomach. Do you understand? Oh, you oh, my God. I feel, 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 I'm not doing anything, guys. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing nothing. You just trying to get my arm in this, uh, you said. We got him in custody. Just everybody else telling him. Oppie. Please, 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 the suspect vehemently denied any wrongdoing, insisting he hadn't taken anything from the store. Despite his protests, officers called for backup and found contraband medications, phony checks and credit cards with multiple identities in his possession. The suspect continued to claim innocence, stating he had found the items on the floor and had no connection to illegal activities. Preston Leonard. Preston Leonard. Robin Fuller. Leticia. Whose keys are these? Found these two? Oh yeah, where's that book bag at? Okay, listen to me. I, you and I really don't have nothing else to discuss, okay? What's done is done. How much was that monitor? Oh, my God. Can you please have the way to go? This is the 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 Do you own a Porsche? So who's so, Porsche? It was, it was all in the I, I told you everything was in those little bitty bags. Like Even this? this? My, yes, mine. This, this is yours? Yes, mine. I put the keys on when I found the bag. <laughs> Them bag, that bag right there, when I just found these two little bags, it was all in there. And where at? Where'd you find these at? Uh, Just so we can get it back to the owner. What is that? Uh, it's a spot downtown. Oh, those little zones. You just hit the jackpot with the bags, didn't you? I did, dog. That was messing everything in there, bro. This is my bag. You said what? Messing everything in there, bro. This shit on the side. The green bag. The green little thingy. It's coke and everything. It was coke and everything. It was coke and everything. So there was meth and coke in there? Okay. I don't even know if it's all in that bitch or not, for real, for real. I just know what it is, what, what's right there. And it look like coke, and it look like milk. And it literally just belongs in that fucking bag. Oh, fuck, why did I do that? What fuck? I see it. I'm going to All this is evidence. Yeah, she wouldn't have to go to bed. You wouldn't have to go to bed. Oh, that's
right, stand up. In spite of what he said, the officer arrested the suspect, believing they've removed a threat from society. On 2023, a woman was invited to a private room by the staff where she insisted she wasn't stealing anything. She clarified that she was simply returning items she had purchased the week before. I know, look at you. Ma'am, this is uh, Miss Heaven from the Greater Power. Uh, this is my manager, Sean, my manager, D. She uh, left the warehouse with these items. I didn't bag. leave the warehouse. Can you let them finish first and then I'm going to ask you? Okay. I called her right after the door there. Okay. With these items, this is in her hand, and these two are in her bag. Okay. She has several other items in the bag that she concealed that she has not paid for. Okay. And you can put those on the table. 111, we, 121, we, manager, we Huh? We definitely going to press charge. Okay. What's your name? Heaven. You'll press charges for what? Heaven. Shop lifting. Okay. The thing is, did you pull the camera? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pull the camera. I did. I didn't know the wallet because I never left your store. I never left your store, child. You're going to press charges. I never left your store. You said she went out the warehouse? No. Right at the door. Huh? Inside. Right here at the door. If you can stay with them and pull up and take real quick. Okay. Never left this. Never left the store. You didn't? No. Okay. I never left the store. Oh. Okay. Never went at the door. Okay. Right there at the door. Okay. You got an ID on you, Miss Heaven? It's probably in the car. It's in the car. You don't have one on you? Okay. So, so what's the law? Huh? What is the law? The law. What is the law? Because I didn't leave here. Well, that's what he's going to look at the video. I wasn't here. Okay. They have it on video. Um, I got to go. They called 911. I'm here to do a service. Um, but you don't have your ID on you. It's in the car. Okay. So you purchased wine without an ID? I came in with wine. But he said, he said it's his. He said it's his. Now I'm going to let him have it. But he said it's his. Now I never walk back to the door. Did okay. I walk out the door? So is that their stuff too? No, this is mine. I came in. You came I, in with these yes. items? Okay. I've been in the store before. I came back in the store. I asked the girl at the front. Okay. So you came to return those? The items back. Okay. When did you purchase them? Last week. Last week? Okay. And you got a membership so they can pull that up? Saying that you purchased no, it last week? Okay. okay. Oh, well, some people don't. They get a little temporary. I know I go to same. Well, yeah, so. I do have a little temporary okay. thing. Okay. But, yeah. but I use someone else's what I do. Someone else's membership. Okay, so you don't have a membership. Not my personal membership. Okay, that's that was the oh, question. Okay, okay. Yeah. I should have thought that. But you use somebody else's okay. that they can pull up there to see if those items are on it. You, your first name is Heaven? Yes. Spell that for me. H E A V E N. And your last name? I don't really want to give my last name. Oh, I'm here to do an investigation. You got to give me your last name. What's your last name? Yeah. Investigation on what? Shoplifting. Well, I didn't shoplift. Okay, and I'm doing the investigation. Okay. They're pulling the camera, so that's why I'm here. Okay. What's, What's your birthday? birthday? Well, when they finish pulling the camera, then... What is your birthday? Can I give you that? What's your birthday? Once they finish, can I give you that? No, because right now you're obstructing me from doing my job. What is your birthday? I'm obstructing Because I'm asking you for important information, and I need your birthday. The woman stymied the cops by avoiding questions about her birth date, adding complexity to the investigation. Later, when asked about a borrowed membership card, she theatrically searched her coat pocket, finally revealing the card in a moment of suspense. Let's start right here. Let me get you. I don't even, uh, I don't even see no purchases on this thing. Hmm. So, um, then she got back in that damn dairy and started loading that bag. I couldn't see back in the deli, but I got to get in that wine. I got to get in that book. I know I saw you when she put them clothes in her bag. Yeah, she go see right here? She go through the register without paying? Right there, went right through the register without paying. See, mm -hmm. right register, and you're gonna see her here. Go, she's gonna go to the front end and stop. She's gonna stop right here. Actually, asking a question. See her back there. Mm-hmm. See, go right there. 
right through the register without paying. Or well, she's going to stop, turn around, adjust the bag. That's me going out right here in front of her so I can get her stopped. See, she asked a question. She asked a question. She stopped. She goes to the door. I'm going to slow it down for you. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to bring this up big for you, okay? Okay. There she go. Straight outside. I stopped her right there. Identified myself. I told her she may have had some items she didn't purchase, like the book. And what she said? She said, I'm from a greater power. Mm -hmm. That's all she keeps saying, heaven from having, a greater power. I'm having a greater power. Because I saw her, when I called him, an employee came to me and said, hey, she saw her put um, the, one of the clothing in. And while she was doing it, she was by the book table. When she telling me, I'm watching that still, she shut my next thing in. And I was like, don't worry. I just stopped it. I just took it back and stopped. I said, don't worry. I called Nebraska and I said, hey, where are you? He said, he was at the police station. I said, oh, let's go. Hurry up. Come back off. I was just pulling this report at when she called. When I come back, I called her back there. And she was coming out of the dairy box when I saw her. She was shot listening to Shambly No, no, this is something so Okay. But when I finally got in and got her, she had the rosé in her hand in the book. And I saw her go down the aisle by Heartline, open the bag and put the rosé in, and tell the book. I said, bag is too full and she, she can't take no more. It's technically the register. Like, she didn't leave the store when she got there. But you walk past all the registers. So, in case on that, you don't have to walk past any the register. There you go. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So he met her outside. So... In possession of abundant evidence substantiating the woman's misconduct, the police strategized their approach. Armed with a definitive plan, they returned to the room prepared to handcuff her and effect her arrest. You being placed under arrest for shoplifting. We're not going to show you any camera right now, okay? Thank you. Put your hands, I'm gonna put your hands together like you're praying. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. The bracelet, can I take the bracelet off? No. No. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll take them off for you. Yeah, he's gonna get lost if you got Okay. Well, we'll take them off for you. Okay. Okay. On 2020, we'll see a girl clumsily attempting to steal something. A girl and two male companions enter a store with the girl carrying a small backpack and appearing nervous, frequently scanning her surroundings. She browses the section with waist beads, selecting one and trying it on, showing it off to a friend. Despite her apparent excitement, she displays suspicious behavior, slipping tiger eye palm stones into her pants under the guise of adjusting her clothing. 
One of her companions, a man in a green shirt, checks for security cameras, indicating potential complicity. The girl discards the stones after a brief interaction, but her furtive behavior continues. When confronted by store staff, she denies stealing until shown evidence, after which she becomes angry and leaves the store with her companions, abandoning the stolen items. After that, all three guests left in discomfort. As soon as they left, the staff seemed very happy to have stopped the girl's theft. We'd love to hear from you. So, leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode.